hi guys I just wanted to introduce this vlog um Deasia or ambitious a if you will um this vlog has been a little difficult for me to edit um just because it is the breakup vlog it's kind of like what I've been calling it to people that have known that we have broken up um, like, yeah, girl, the next vlog is the breakup vlog, um, because the breakup was just so sad and so hard for me for many different reasons. Um, so it has been, I guess now three months. So I have been vlogging. I have been taking you guys everywhere. I just have not been editing, um, and uploading just because I know this has been the next vlog. Um, even part two of West Palm, um, were we broken up then? Yeah, y'all, we broke up just days after West Palm, like, while I was in Savannah. But given our relationship, and we were very much friends, as well as boyfriend and girlfriends, and just, y'all, it was difficult. Because he actually texted me tonight. Y'all know how the universe be universing. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you love it here. Um, on Instagram, I am ambitious a underscore. I will put it on the screen if you guys would like to follow me there. I would love that also. Let's be friends. Um, yeah, and so that way, you know, you're just like more up to date. I hope everyone is, you know, doing well where you are is where you're supposed to be in life right now and just give yourself grace i hope you all have a great week <sighs> okay Trying to pull myself together because I returned to work today. I don't want to have puffy eyes. I'm trying to say it because if I say it I feel like it'll help me feel better So Stefan and I broke up last night. I returned to work this morning, so I'm trying to get it together. I feel like saying it may help me. Um... But yeah, um, it was because of something I said, I take full accountability, um, but yeah. I've apologized. I'm human. Um, but it's best that we part ways. According to him. I try not to lean on my own understanding.
but yes um I thought about taking a hiatus um but I think if I keep going that would be a little better for me and I like to be transparent um about dating because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it at least not a lot of um, people I've watched they don't talk about their personal dating life now of course I you know like when I first started vlogging a few months ago and I was just dating you know I didn't give that too much uh, too much transparency because I was dating and getting to know people and just like going on dates and just um, putting myself out there. But we were actually in our relationship. So I feel like this is a little different. Um, but yeah. So I probably uh, will see you guys on friday um because chloe has a soccer game um i need to get my nails done at some point so my plan was to get that done on friday after work but my sister told me about the soccer soccer game this morning um, excuse me the coffee um so i'll try to squeeze my nails in another day and go to chloe's soccer game um but yeah so i don't have much uh coming up recently aj is in town next week so um i'm sure sure we'll do something one night or two but um i just want to stay focused all my goals uh, keep moving and just know that things are working out for my better good so I hope you all have a great day later gators Hey y'all, so it's a couple of days later and I just wanted to have a little chit chat. I also wanted to show you all um, some new Kylie lips I got. I told you all I was getting new Kylie lips. My phone just died in the car. I told you all I was getting new Kylie lips so I'm super excited. What I have on now is, oh this is a Smashbox lip. So this is that Smashbox liner with the Smashbox lip. I'm super excited about these new Kylie lips because I need a matte, um, like nude, nude pink. So you can see this is more uh, pink and this has a little more brown. One thing I noticed about uh, Kylie's liners is they deoxidize a completely different color than the actual lip. I'm most excited about, I think, Posey K because it looks most similar to the Clo money that I be wearing. You know what? Just let me try to put a little bit on for y'all. So we can see because I haven't tried it yet. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all, I put the lip I'm wearing on at like four o'clock, like after I came from break at work. So it literally stays on every day. 
I mean all day. Mm -hmm. I think we'll wear it tomorrow at work. So anywho. So this is Posse K. Some days I say Posy, some days I say Posse. Both days I get paid. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. Um, yeah, so those are those two. And then also I got uh I bought this veggie wash because I know I'm uh I'm still doing alternate day fasting, so I resumed that once I got home from Savannah. So today was an eating day. Thankfully, I just came back from a celebration for my uncle. His birthday is on 420. Um, and it's 421. And so they had a celebration for him tonight. Um, it was really nice. It's always a, you know, nice time seeing everyone. Because a lot of us uh, keep up with each other on um, Instagram. So we just kind of catch you now. They were like, oh, where did you go on vacation? Oh, you look so good. Oh, girl, I saw you. Blah, blah. And we just chit-chatting it up. And uh, one of the girls, uh, she actually lived in um, Mexico for a few months. And I was just asking her about that because I had considered moving to a Spanish-speaking country. And um, then she told me they were in Costa Rica also her and her son but in Mexico it was Playa del Carmen and she said they lived there in a condo for three months and yeah I told myself that if I wasn't in you know like a serious relationship this year that I would probably move or consider moving but I really feel a shift coming like I feel a shift coming in my life and if you know you know you really can't explain it because i'm a big energy person like i'm an empath like i'm a big energy person like you know you know what i'm saying like you really can't speak on it but you just know because you feel it so yeah i really feel this shift coming but what i wanted to tell y'all is because i wanted to speak on it like when it happened in case something came you know from it into fruition from it so this is the fruit and veggie wash so the plan is to get up in the morning before work and go to the farmer's market to get things but basically like for salads i mentioned before that uh the girl that i do the vlogs with that we we're replacing lunch or dinner with a salad and i've done that like twice in april and april's almost over she isn't doing a fast in may um because it's you know like holidays mother's day some other cookout day whatever so she says she's gonna resume in june but i do want to go get like some kale um and other yummies for salads so y'all it was two weeks ago because it was the seventh. So I'm out of my business doing my job at work, how I do. Um, and if you can't tell by now, I'm very much a talker. I'm very much a people's person. And working in the public, you meet uh, so many people from different walks of life. You know, and I can start a conversation with just about anyone. Like, I can find something, like, relatable to, like, what they're talking about. And we just spark a conversation. So, I was minding my business with my job. And I was, um, matching the lady with a product. And, you know, we just chit-chat and talking it up. Um, <laughs> she was an older African-American a uh, woman so you know the vibes are good at this point it's like you auntie and we just you know you know so how did it start okay so we we're just talking and then i don't know how we got in on to it but she told me um uh, that she worked for delta or whatever it just like came up in the conversation and so 
she started telling me about her daughters and how like one lives in Savannah and she was just like in Florida. Um, I was like, oh, like um, her daughters are like in their 20s. I was like, oh, I'm from Savannah. Like my friends and I, like we used to always drive to Florida too. Like it was just like these connections coming up that was just kind of like feeding the conversation further. And, and then of course you know we just left florida so i was telling her that like oh like in a couple of weeks like i'm about to go to florida too like so we were just going and so yeah she was like you have a great personality um you should be a flight attendant which i've heard this before a few times before from people but i actually applied to be a flight attendant for delta before it was like 2015 15 it had to be like 15 16 because i was still in school i was working on my bachelor's degree um little did i know that i was about to get my associate's degree my associate's degree was not in my plan but it was like oh whatever <laughs> i don't want to derail but i ended up getting my associate's degree in into my bachelor's degree <laughs> so it was like you know if y'all can remember if you're my age um it's when delta was hiring like thousands of flight attendants since then it's you know happened again with covid and everything but i think that was like the first time in a while that it happened it was like oh delta is hiring like three thousand flight attendants or whatever so i was like okay it was like um you know i'm mid-20s i was like okay I am graduating with my associates. If I get this job, I'm gonna like take off for a couple of years. I'll come back to school. You know, I can travel the world. You know, my eyes were even brighter until it was even bushier than it is now. And so I was like, okay, yeah, like I can just for a couple of years, like school will be here. Like I can come back, whoop de boop. And you know, and then all this mind, all of with all of this in mind, um. You know, I still had like, you know, like my future business in mind because like, I always wanted a boutique. That's what I went to school for. I went to school for fashion. It's always been my passion. So I was like, you know, I can fly anywhere for free. Like my hotel rooms are paid for. Uh, so like I can, you know, go to L.A. if I need to, you know, like for production or merchandising and whatever. So whole grand scheme plan in my head. So long story short, I didn't get the job. Um, and then I was telling her about how a couple of years ago, a recruiter reached out to me on behalf of Delta about um, a position. And I can't remember the exact title, but whatever the role was, is these people fit the flight attendants for their uniforms. And she was like, that's the thing and i was like yeah and she was like because i'm really good friends with the ceo so i need to call them and talk about this and and i like, like what is this you know what i'm saying so i was like yeah it's a thing and i interviewed for it and you know obviously i didn't get it and she asked me what i went to school for and things like that and so she was like get my number before i leave so we exchanged numbers and as she was leaving she was like um if you don't hear for, from me for a while she was like feel free to reach out to me um she was like you know because life happens feel free to reach out to me and i say all that to say she texted me tonight she texted me tonight around 9 p.m saying y'all this my auntie Hey. Where's my baby? She home. Okay. I normally you would call or something. That's Desiree took her in. I took her in. Okay. I'll probably um. No, we'll talk Monday. Okay, but I told Mika I was gonna try to see her before she left. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying about you about what we talked about. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, babe. So I say all that to say that she texted me tonight and you know she was just like hi Deasia can you please send me your resume 
and she gave me her email address and then she talked about the product she bought um but of course i'll text her uh tomorrow when the hours are a little more decent and i was telling my sister about it and she was just like this is a sign <laughs> this is a sign <laughs> um so y'all i don't know and the only thing that's holding me back is i'm looking to get into another field of work that would very much need me on the ground here at home that is way more lucrative and it just fits this uh season of my life and what i'm trying to do you know i feel like being a flight attendant was ideal for when i was young um you know and i guess i have like the same responsibilities but like my focus is different you know like i am in the stage of my life where like i want a family i want to settle down um so i don't really see me in that role doing all of that but y'all know how we have these plans and god have his own plan so it's definitely something i'm gonna pursue i can definitely say that because when i leave this earth no stone will go unturned no opportunity will go unpursued like my biggest fear is living with regrets if you're gonna do it do it if you're gonna say it say it like live it yolo you have nothing to lose um so i'm definitely gonna send her my resume tomorrow but yeah you guys i really feel a shift coming this is gonna be a great year for me like i already came into this year saying it but like things are kind of like orc Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Orchestrating. I think it's the word I'm looking for. Like themselves out. And just like things are like moving around. And I'm meeting all of these people. And things are happening coincidentally. And But yeah. So one of my aunt's good friends. She's coming up on her fifth or fourth um anniversary as a flight attendant for delta and i just got some insight from her i'm like give me a real life review kind of like reviews like let me know and so she was like you know you fly free you meet a lot of people it'd be good for your business it's basically everything you know that i've said and thought of i've been talking for 15 minutes whatever um but yeah, so I would keep you guys updated on that. And also, I'll probably save this conversation <laughs> for another time. But I met the sweetest ladies at work tonight. One treated me to lunch. I'm a very patient person. Um, I don't know what it is about me, but people feel like they can talk to me and just unload and release on me because they can. I... I guess I give off the aura or just, I don't know, but I met the sweetest little lady from Orlando. She came here for a gala and we just got the talk, talking while I was doing her makeup. And then I met another lady. She really was just passing through and she's like, hey, I need a lip gloss. I got this Whitney Houston lipstick from MAC. It's too red. I need pink. I want shiny, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. And we really didn't find anything for her. And she was like, you want to go to the Cheesecake Factory? Because they told me it was a Cheesecake Factory in here. And I'm going to go. So you want to go? I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to clock out. Let me grab my purse. And so <laughs> I swear it was just like that because right after i had the conversation you know with the other lady y'all like i done shed a couple of tears with this lady and everything like i 
don't do that with everybody but I felt like it was fitting because I saw her like a little misty eyed and you know it was like very fitting I saw one of my co-workers pass by and she was looking at me first of all she's nosy but she was looking at me she's probably like why is this girl crying with this customer but mind your business um but yeah y'all so this lady and I we went to Cheesecake Factory I didn't intend on her uh you know paying for my lunch i just intended on going to get a drink because i needed it because it's been a hell of a week i just shed tears with this lady like let me decompress but anywho she was so sweet um we'll call her miss lily because i'm not trying to give anyone's real name we'll call her miss lily and she's older and you know older people they're at a stage in their life where you know everyone they raised have their lives and my mom is the same way she's getting to be the same way um you know like oh you don't come home you don't call me as much as i would like you to and i don't hear from you and this and that and so she's kind of there so she just needed someone to talk to um so we was just talking and i was just listening to her i didn't her about anything that was going on in my personal life i just listened to her yeah she was really sweet and when we left she was like don't you forget about me we exchanged the numbers and everything and um i put my name in her phone as deasia veggie burger she was like i need like something like specific to remember you by um and that was her first time trying an impossible burger but anywho guys, ran over. Um, also, I wanted to show y'all my new twist out. This is, okay, so we had our Savannah twist out. Y'all know it looks nothing like this. I told y'all the humidity in Savannah is a lot worse than the humidity in Atlanta. So these are, I went back to work on Tuesday. It's Friday. These are three day old curls. Get into it um i didn't do the back so the back is still um a little drier a little stiffer um so my sister and i were supposed to be taking content content pictures on sunday but i'm gonna go on a walk in brookhaven like with a group of girls just like a wellness thing um a friend wants to meet for lunch so I don't think I'm gonna take content pictures but I'm literally working like Monday through Saturday next week and probably even Sunday like I'm just in such a different headspace um yeah I'm really trying to get it I'm trying to get everything that's fine this year um so yeah so i will see y'all in the morning we're gonna go to the farmer's market have to make myself get up let's see what time they open um mm -mm -mm. i think like nine yep they open at nine okay so we'll get up and go there. I have to work tomorrow. I'll be there all day. So no, I'm just going to get ready for bed. Good night. Hey y'all. So happy Sunday. I am almost at Stefan's place. Um, I haven't spoken to him since we broken up until yesterday um he just texted me asking me if i was doing okay um but he has his kids this weekend and i have their easter things um so i wanted them to have their easter things so i'm dropping off the easter before they go home um you can like the dust hasn't settled so I still really don't know like how to feel or what to say I'm just kind of taking his sleep with it um, 
but yeah but I think with the kids being there it it kind of like softens not the blow but you know it makes with this being our first time seeing each other since breaking up it'll make it a little better a little like less emotional and probably a little less loud you know because we have to be gathered you know in front of the children so yeah so we'll see how it goes their Easter baskets are so cute. Some of my finest work. So I'm excited for them to have them. I hope you all have a great week. And I will talk to y'all later. Good morning, you guys. So I am on my way to work. Very rare occasion that you'll probably see me on my way to work. I forgot my camera in the car yesterday. Uh, after I left Stefan, I went to Rainbow because they have really cute pieces online. So I just wanted to see some of the pieces in person to see the quality, to see what size I may need. So I stopped at a Rainbow on his side of town. And then, yeah, I came home. There was oddly a lot of traffic. Um, he too said he was in traffic uh, dropping the kids off. Um, so it, it went well. You know, the kids enjoy their things. Um, the energy was really calm between us. Uh, yeah, I, that's all I can say. It's very calm. Um, he made me some breakfast. I checked on him and the kids. Oh my gosh, go. You know, on their way home and whatever. So I ended up seeing the lady from Delta. I think I ended up seeing her like the next day. Um, so a couple of days ago. And she was getting ready for a party that her and her daughter was going to. So she had a uh, text me, yeah, when she texted me telling me to send her my resume, she texted me about a setting powder. So I told her we had the setting powder and that it was on sale. So she was at the beauty salon that I think was in the area. So she just stopped by to get a few things. Um, so I sent her my resume this morning. Um, but yeah, I really feel good about everything. Really just moving with faith in a lot of things what do y'all think of this red this is uh, Bang Bang by Smashbox it's like a liquid lipstick it's so uh, it's very long wear what I don't like about it and I feel like it didn't always do this because if it did I wouldn't have bought it um you know how like once you wear it it kind of like peels like you know in the inside of your lip I find it does that a little bit um so I have it on with Sephora brands gel lip liner which is a little darker so I'm trying to wait until it balances out but one of my co-workers uh her red lip she uses night moth lip liner by mac which i too have and so i tried that one day y'all because you would imagine like i was on the way to work like how i am now and now night moth is a very deep purple and y'all see how red this is so messing up the lip liner and the lip on the way to work it just wasn't a good look so i tried my best to you know like Correct it at work in the restroom, but I just couldn't. So when I get to work today, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I think what concealer, but it looks fine um, because I put it on at home. But yeah, I'm just afraid that it gives like too red, kind of like clown red, but I'm not sure. But depending on what I wear tomorrow, I'm 
think I'm gonna try it with the Night Mall because I think it needs like a little more depth, a little more contrast. But just let me know what you think. Also, there's this really super cute pastel party. It's in about a month. It's the same weekend as my sister's wedding, but it's that Sunday. Um, my cousin from Houston will still be here because she texted me like last week about having Sunday Monday before she left. So I sent her the link, but it's at um, the Spaceman rooftop, which is the rooftop of the Hyatt Centric, which is like 10 minutes from me. So I'm like, okay, this is perfect. Um, like once everyone is gone, it's from four to 10. You know, this could be like our little Monday, Sunday Monday situation. The tickets are $35. The early bird tickets. This video should go up in like three weeks because I still have part two of West Palm. I still have Savannah, so that's two weeks, and this video right here is three weeks. Um, but I'll link it below where you can buy the tickets. I'm just not sure if early bird is still going to be available by the time this video goes up. But I thought it's like the perfect. Uh, occasion to wear my two-piece outfit my Lejeans I think that's how you pronounce it so if I was trying to help me it's like a French word but the first look that's in my spring break my sp spring look book video uh, the plaid two-piece set I'm like that's perfect because I might not get another occasion soon to wear it either that or I have this uh this mint green I think the proper name for the color is like mint sage or light sage whatever but it's like a mint green blazer dress from BCBG Max Azria that I've never worn um I also have this yellow uh blazer dress from boohoo that I've never worn and they've been in my closet for years so but i'm still thinking the two-piece uh tweed set but i'll keep y'all updated um i'm gonna get up and work out in the morning i'm not sure if i'm gonna take y'all but i will at some point this week because i want to go a few days in the morning before work i work all week i don't have anything um planned leisurely I do plan on going to see my aunt after work today, you know, for a little girl talk situation. But besides that, I will see you all later this week. I hope you all have a great week. And if you haven't, please uh, like and subscribe if you love it here. I keep forgetting to say that in videos, but I figured, you know, if people genuinely, you know, like it, then they will you know but i am the type of person that when i watch and i watch the same people like love their videos i literally like search them everything i'm like you know like i need to like i do forget you know until they remind and then they're like you know well if you made it this far i'm like well i am at the end of this hour and a half video so people really do forget um but yeah you guys if you can like and subscribe i would love that but see y'all later. My new Jordans came in and my new shorts came in too. Mm. I'm prepared for the weekend. I see. I'm giving you all kind of looks. So what do you have planned for the night, Miss Baker? I need to edit my vlog that goes live on Friday because I have not started and it's two days away. So that's what I need to do. I didn't get your ass in the high gear. Oh my gosh. It's just the state that I'm in right now just wants to lay down. No, I work tomorrow, but at the work, I plan to go get my nails done. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Have you given any hours to back out to the ladies? 
Uh, I already did. I sent her my resume. I'm just waiting to hear back from her. Yeah, I'm not going to leave any opportunity on the table. I want to say at least I, I tried or at least I took it. No. No. I have standards and self-respect when it comes to that. I don't care. I don't because when I was in the big nigga and two niggas said I hollered me and I told them no, that nigga still said, oh, I'm not going to see you to my business. No, but I, well, yes to new, no to like old and I have a reason to say no, but yes to yes. new. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Yes to the new, no to the old. Yeah. I'm not spinning the block. Girl, I love you. I love you too. I'll talk to you later. Yes. All right, bye. Hey, y'all. So, I'm on break at work. I have y'all with me because we were supposed to be going to the farmer's market after work. Um, but I just decided we we're going to do it tomorrow after work. <laughs> uh, but I have Ponco chicken. This is my first time trying them. Uh, my coworker said they are really good. They have vegan and vegetarian options. So what I'm trying right now are the green beans. She said they're really good. Um, they have sesame seeds and they have like the crispy onions. So we're gonna try together. This is a decent serving. And it's in like some creamy sauce. So that was the side of of two sides. The other side I got was the sticky rice. Ooh, okay. I hope it doesn't seep through the through the box. Mm. 
Let me put the bag down. Let me show y'all this. So tofu tenders with some sticky rice. My coworker suggested that I get extra of the sauce, so she gave me extra sauce on the side. Two of my tenders are teriyaki, and then the other two are barbecue. So we're gonna try that. So the sticky rice was one side, and the green beans was the other side. And it was only 12 bucks. 12 bucks for a whole vegan meal. Count me in. And this is like two servings. So, I'm gonna say half for dinner because I didn't have any lunch to bring to work. So I was like, okay, we're gonna go to the farmer's market today because I really want to make me a Caesar salad. So I wanted to get like kale for the Caesar salad. I went to Kroger last night. I got a vegan Caesar salad dressing. I got some croutons. And so my mouth was kind of set on that. Um, and then I was like, well, I need to eat sooner than that. So I need lunch. So I was like, okay, if I eat lunch, I'm not gonna wanna eat dinner. Cause most likely this will this will hold me till dinner. So I was like, well maybe I should just wait to go to the farmer's market. So we'll go tomorrow. So this is a barbecue tofu tender. Mmm. No, this is teriyaki. Oh my gosh. It's good. <sighs> Who would have thought? Some place I would actually like to eat in a food court. these sliced cucumbers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nice little crunch okay this is barbecue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god it's so flavorful mm. Y'all hear a crunch. It's so crunchy. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all my lunch. And now I'm about to tear it up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 